bitches throwing rape, uh, feel like two talk, uh, niggas wanna play, uh, need like two blocks, uh, I been winning all day, I need a pin star. Uh. What's good with the YouTube, man? E here back with another video. As y'all see from the title, man, I'm gonna show y'all the best playmaking, the top five playmaking badges in NBA 2K20, but hands down, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, y'all see right now, I'm on my office at third building. Y'all really don't see it, but I'm just letting y'all know, you know what I'm saying? It's cause it's really, well, I made another office at third build that is, you know what I'm saying, almost done. It's pretty much the same build, but it's a little, it's a little different. I, I'll show y'all, you know what I'm saying? I'll get the gameplay out soon for y'all, you know what I'm show y'all how you rocking, but, um, so y'all see right here on this on my original, I have 17 on my new, I got 15, so I got more on this one, but it's not that big of a difference. But, um, but I'm gonna show y'all, you know, since like I said, keep right going to video, show y'all the best playmaking badges for in general, but and um, I'm gonna show y'all, you know, what I'm saying if you're a center, which is not know a lot of centers, you know, what I'm saying if you're not just playmaker. You know what I'm saying? You're a you got like two or three playmaking bats. I'm show y'all, you know what I'm saying, what bats you should put on. And I'm, you know what I'm saying, show y'all the general, just in general for all guards, shooting guards, small fours, just playmakers, you know what I'm saying? That, that. Any better know how to, that has 10 plus playmaking badges, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. But um, let's go ahead and jump right into it, bro. Um, the number one badge, all right, this is for guards, you know what I'm saying, or just playmakers in general, bro. I recommend y'all to put on quick first step and just for the simple fact that um y'all know when driving out of triple threat or after a size up basketball handlers have uh I say basketball handlers ball handlers have uh, access to quicker and more effective launches bro you know what I'm saying so pretty much what that means you can speed boost out of you know what I'm saying triple moves and triple threat triple threat size ups whatever whatnot so if you're a guard, you obviously want to use this, you know what I'm saying, help you get open. You know what I'm saying, help you, it can help you get past your defender, drops to the paint, or it can help you get open for a shot. Either way, you know what I'm saying, this is the number one, in my opinion, the number one recommended build for guards, for just really just guards, you know what I'm saying, maybe small forwards, depending on what your build is. Not like no rebound the wing, of course, but you know what I'm saying, any build that has that ball handling to get, you know what I'm saying, be able to get those really good launches, you know what I'm saying? Like an 80 plus ball control, or not even 80 plus, like a 70 plus ball control with like a, a high speed, you know what I'm saying? You get the point. Any build like a speed boost. I recommend y'all to put a quick first step. That's the first thing, you know what I'm saying? First and foremost, that's the first badge you put on. Next badge, handles for days, bro. All right, then, you know what I'm saying? This is if you like to dribble a lot, a lot of people. Most people I know on this game like to dribble a lot, so I recommend y'all to put this on regardless. Just go ahead and throw this on. Um, obviously, it reduces the amount of energy lost when you perform your dribble moves. So why would you not want that? You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a guard um, and you like to dribble a lot. Uh, me, personally, I don't really... I try not to dribble as much. I try to get past the defender immediately. I don't really like to... You know what I'm saying? A lot of dribble guys or whatever, so, so to speak... Like to, to get clips, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. But I just put it on just like just because, really, you know what I'm saying. Like I, I could, I could, I could rock with it on silver, but I would just prefer to have it on gold, just cause, you know, just in case. Especially on tools, when I'm playing with a center, that, especially like when I'm playing tools, you know what I'm saying, with a center, some shit like that. I don't know, like he's not gonna have the ball, so fuck it. I'm gonna be the one controlling not having the ball most of the time anyway. So I, I'd rather have handles with days on gold. Um and that's that, bro. That's for then that's for guards. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, quick first step and handles for days like really just like a guard's badge. Unless you like a big like a stretch playbreaker or a play glass. Alright, that's a different story. But if you like glass blocking the rebound wing pain beast, obviously you're not gonna have this, you know what I'm saying? Obviously. Um, space crater. Oh no, no, not space crater. I'm gonna go back to that. I'm gonna come back to that. A pluggable is a good badge, but I, I honestly, bro, like even on gold, silver, bro, I get ripped, bro. I'm some bullshit, bro. Like I go against a lot of guards with no, like with the with, what's it called, the high tendencies or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Where they don't or low tendencies. It's like a tendency glitch, bro. Basically, but where they, you know what I'm saying? They can just keep spamming without getting the foul. You know what I'm saying? 
and I get ripped a lot of the times, you know what I'm saying? Even with gold. So I just like forget it, but I, I just put it on bronze just because. I wouldn't, you know what I'm saying, be like, I wouldn't like recommend y'all just put it on like off rip, but it's a good batch, I guess. You know, it's a good batch, I guess. Um, tight handles, bro. Tight handles, you know what I'm saying, ankle breaker come hand in hand, I guess. But you know what I'm saying, I, I still have tight handles. It was most effective with the behind the back in the game, but it's still kind of effective, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, uh, as you see the description, it improves the ability to break down a defender, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, increase the player's ball handling ability in size of situations, making it easier to break down as an on-ball defender, so it makes them stumble and stuff like that a lot. Stuff like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's a, it's a good match. I recommend that for guards, for the most part. It's still effective, but it was most effective with the behind the back. I still have it on, because like, when I do like momentums and stuff, the momentum crossover or you know any kind of cross like hesit you know some hesitation and shit like that it can still kind of gives the defender so i still would recommend y'all to put that badge on bro you know what i'm saying tire handles is still a decent badge it was goaded though with when the uh, old behind the back end was in the game but it's still good you know what i'm saying a pretty good badge angle breaker is also a good badge but the reason why I didn't really, you know what I'm saying, put it in the top five is because it, it works. No, don't, don't get me wrong. It works, you know what I'm saying? Even without playmaker takeover. But I would just much rather have tight handles on. But, like, if you have ankle breaker, okay, it's a good, you know, I, either one, really, you can have. But ankle breaker is like, you know, it, it doesn't really work as often as I would like, and I play a lot of tools, so, I don't know, it's just, it's, I don't really get a lot of ankle breakers for, with this build. I, I hear, I see a lot of people get ankle breakers with playmaking take more so than, you know what I'm saying, me with shot creating takeover and something like that, so, that's why I don't put it on like that, um, but yeah, tight handles, like I said, I recommend tight handles, bro, alright, you know what I'm saying? And then the next badge for bailout. It's exactly what it's called. It's a bailout. You know what I'm saying? It's a bailout. Increases the chance of successfully completed pass, completing a pass from mid air. So passing out of shots. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. Um, probably the best badge. <laughs> I ain't gonna say the best badge, but it is for any build, bro. If you're a center, you got one, you got, and you got one upgrade. Just put on bailout, bro. Just put on bailout. You know what I'm saying? Cause I know a lot of a lot of people. You know, you might take a dumb shot by accident, do some shit 2K don't want you. You know, you don't want to do, or you might think you have a shot and then take it and then you realize, oh, it's not a bad shot. Like right at the, you know, at the right time and pass it out. You know what I'm saying? So, oh my God, let's just join the party. <laughs> but um, that's it so loud. But you know, so you might think you had a shot and then you really don't have the shot, so you try to pass it out. He throw it out of bounds because you don't have the badge. You know what I'm saying? This will prevent you again from a lot of turnovers, bro. This will save you from a lot of turnovers. Even on bronze, you know. Oh my gosh. You'll still, you know what I'm saying, get turnovers on bronze. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You won't get as many. I put it on gold. I used to rock with it on silver, but I was like, forget it. I'm just gonna put it on gold, bro. Cause I don't really like you still get turnovers if it's like heavily contested, like if you got two defenders on you, you know what I'm saying? And then like the pass is like and you, your teammates far, you still have a high chance of getting in it. But you know what I'm saying? The success rate for gold is really good. But I recommend y'all put it at least on silver though. Silver is like, you know what I'm saying? If you have the upgrades, put it on silver, but simple. But I recommend silver at the lowest if you have like ten plus upgrades. But if you only have like two upgrades, like a center or something, a pain beast, put it on bronze. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got mine some gold. It's a really clutch badge. I recommend y'all to, you know what I'm saying, put it on. Next badge, Needle Thurger, bro. I don't have it on. <laughs> I don't have it on, but I will tell y'all this is a go to badge. I don't even have it equipped, but it's a really go to badge. Um, I play it, I, I really just put it on when I play threes, really. But even on twos, you know what I'm saying, it's a good badge. If you throw scaries, bro. I, I don't really, you know what I'm saying, try to throw scaries, but it's it's not even just for scaries, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's just for getting tough passes in general. 
Um, if you want to get that pass off, man, by, without a defender trying to get in the steal, this is a good badge, man. This is a really good badge. Um, that's pretty much it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, it's, if you want to get your passes out without a, you know what I'm saying, the defender stealing it, that's that, bro. Um, next badge. Uh, and then that, that badge is really slept on, bro. By the way, so I, I recommend y'all putting that on, especially if you play threes and wreck a lot. Twos too, you know what I'm saying? But I just don't put it on for twos. Um, the next badge is Space Crater. The reason why I didn't really put it up, you know what I'm saying, in the, the top, in the first ones I mentioned, because it's a really good badge, but a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they don't do hop stuff and stuff like that. Yesterday, I played a guy who just spam Space Crater, like spam hop stuff and was continuously breaking my ankles, but. You know what I'm saying? It's space kitted. And it's it's really it's really effective, you know. So you're really gonna get a lot of anchor breakers spamming those top stuff, especially if you have it on silver, you know what I'm saying, silver and up. Um I never had these like I never had Hall of Fame play mini bands, so I don't know how these bands like work on Hall of Fame. But I will tell you but on gold, this badge, bro, is like these badges are god tier, especially this badge right here with the ankles, but you catch so many ankles, bro. Uh, I really don't like to spam ankles, like spam hop steps to break ankles, because I just feel like that's just so lame. But whenever I do, nine times out of ten, I'm getting an ankle breaker, bro. So I would recommend y'all to put this on, bro. I would recommend y'all to put this space creator on if you like to do hop steps. If you're a shot creator specifically, you know what I'm saying? If you're a shot creator, I recommend y'all putting space creator on, bro. It's a, like, it's a god tier badge, bro. It's a god tier badge, man. Um. But yeah, man, that's it for this video, man. If y'all enjoyed this video, if it helped y'all anyway, man, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, bro. And that's all for y'all, man. Peace.